Ooh, ooh, the vlog is back. We back 2023, kicking the vlog off. Kicking it off on a Monday, actually, today, because I am, uh, the week is starting and there's a lot going on. Uh, first off, I am on uh, Warner Brothers lot. I'm trying to, this crazy line. Um, I I booked Abbott Elementary, guys. I booked a roll on Abbott Elementary. Uh, right now, I'm finna go for my fitting. This is where they've already gathered my wardrobe and they want me to come in and try it on and uh, see how it fits if they need to make any changes because we shoot on Wednesday. Very quick turnaround. Shooting Wednesday and Thursday. Leave Thursday night. Coming to Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, two shows on Friday. Saturday morning, I'm doing a whiskey tour at Uncle Nearest with Kev and Mel. I think Josh might have waited too long to get his tickets. Um, and Greg, too. And then uh, two more shows Saturday night and a show on Friday. So stay tuned. Guaranteed to be a good month time. So this is a fitting. Someone was just in here with me. She just handed me the outfits that they need me to try on. It's two scenes I'm going to be in, so I had to try on like eight outfits. Still got one on. Look at that. Ooh, that boy thick. Ooh, ooh. Thick, thick, thick. Um, she just went to go take with the supervisor, make sure I'm good, and then um, head home to go film podcast, because that's what's next. Told you a whole lot of shit going on this week. <sighs> I'm, I'm I'm tired right now. I'm, I didn't sleep Saturday night. That's what it was. I woke up at 8.30 and I just went to sleep at like 6.15. So that was Sunday. And I stayed up all night, all day to make sure I slept good last night. I did. Hey, Mr. Dean. Just left here and make my watch the chain. They gave me the wrong call time. So now they're brushing me all about. They would be pissed off if they knew I was doing this right now, but shut up, kids. This is my room. Nice little setup. Shower just in case they have me getting done because somebody is getting done. It ain't me, though. Finally made it too much. First of all, let me say this I'm having a blast. Absolute blast. Outside of the pain that I'm in, this. This is an amazing shoot. Everybody's so cool and just, we're having a good time, right? Um, hit it off really well with, uh, who I hit it off with? Tyler, hit it off well with, um, uh, Leslie Omar, Leslie Oldham Jr. He was in Last Onion, he was in Hamilton, he's been a number of things. I mean, just a, just a beautiful human being, bro. Um, Zach, I mean, it's just been dope, man. It's been dope. This has been one of the dopest productions I've ever been on. But now I'm about to eat the barbecue chicken, Caesar salad, hot pepper, and just relax because I'm in a lot of pain right now. Finally home after a long day of filming, long ass day of filming. Um, and it was great. It was a fucking amazing day of filming. The connections that I made today, I feel like some of them will last me a lifetime. The bond that me and Quinta formed, the bond that me and Tyler formed, me and Zach. This is great. Everybody was so receptive of what I could bring to the episode. Very excited about it. And today is the 11th, so uh, a clip from the interview I did with Chocolate Sundays posted and if you haven't seen it on my page go to it the comments are wild as fuck i would say 70 80 percent of them are positive you know but you still got that 20 percent of people that just just don't understand it or completely ignorant to a, a certain lifestyle and so um i tried to let them know like i had those same criticisms i had that same belief i had those same questions but it's always a way to say something and ask a way ask a question and a lot of people just let their insecurities show and their ignorance show but that's just what you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna have to deal with that shit sometimes you have to deal with the naysayers um it ain't stopping shit i talked to kev today since i got home and i told him about what was going on he was like man let them off let them he doesn't motherfuckers we let them motherfuckers talk about you while you on the beach in bali they still gonna be talking you still gonna be relaxing you still gonna have a great marriage and I was already in that mindset, but it just confirmed that coming, especially coming from somebody like Kev. 
Kev has made a, a, a complete 180 from when I first showed him um, the lifestyle that me and Farron were a part of. And it's beautiful to see that instead of in, in, choosing to hold on to the ignorance and the unknowns and just the societal um, shadows cast on certain lifestyles, uh, he chose to enlighten himself. He chose to do his research. He chose to hit me out. Uh, because a lot of people won't. And I understand. We come from families that are rooted in religion and Christianity. And everything in that good book says that we should do this. Right? But. At some point you have to educate yourself. At least enough to have a conversation or a debate. On these topics that you choose to look so foolish. Talking about in these comments. And I don't want to leave me mad. You really go through all the comments. And I went through every comment. I responded to the people that I feel are deemed necessary. Or, um, it just, I didn't respond with any malice or any negativity because I understand they don't know. And that's just a part of taking a path left, less travel. You're going to have to deal with criticism. You're going to have to deal with haters. You're going to have to deal with ignorant people. You're going to have to deal with naysayers. But you can't let that deter you. You got to keep living your life, man. And live that shit unapologetically. Because you only get one fucking life. So do what the fuck you want to do. If you ain't causing no harm to nobody, you ain't breaking no laws, do what the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You should have worn about it. Y'all stay tuned because the week ain't even over. I got one more day up at Warner Brothers tomorrow. Then I fly out of town tomorrow night. And then we are in Huntsville, Alabama. Y'all gonna get Huntsville too. So y'all stay tuned. I thought it was Hoover. Is that close to Huntsville? Hoover, Alabama? Yep. That's what the website said. That might be where the club is, but... Y'all be easy. <laughs> All right. Day two on set. I did my COVID test. We already did hair and makeup. Shot my breakfast off. A little hard one. I appreciate that. I am about to smash this shit. Tell you what, your boy went on this lake at year six, and I don't know why my goofy had set my alarm for 545. Like, I live close, but not that close. It should have been 445. But luckily, I woke up at like 520, was able to get everything done, and to get here on time. I'm gonna holler at this breakfast burrito real quick. I'm gonna holler at y'all. So, when you're on a lot, they uh, usually transport you on these little golf carts. Any ones that feed like six to eight people. This one got that. It put the, the lights in the roof like it's a rave. <laughs> First, I thought it might have been for the holidays, and I'm pretty sure they meant for this one to be like a rave. That's hilarious. like one of my low-key favorite clubs it's just the staff is great the crowd always comes to have a good time it's a good time um <laughs> i can't remember if i ever ordered food here or not but look at this salad look how look how big look for reference like this is my hand this this is my hand and look how much salad i had all i want is like just this just the crouton look how much <laughs> So much salad, bro. Look how big the salad is, man. Look at Craig's face. <laughs> just for you? That's just a season salad. <laughs> it's so big. Well, the fries is fire too, Greg. Wanna get a couple of these? I got a. Uh, I need one. Taste a couple of them fries, man. Come on, come here, boy. I got a pizza. Man, this motherfucker's... I'm like, man, y'all got hand toss. You see hand toss, you like, you can let them. What are they 
we don't have a good time tonight. All right, so we just got on the party bus. Mel Mitchell, y'all know Mel, you know what I'm saying? Mel got me out here with 30 strangers. With 25 strangers. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't got no drugs in my system, and I can't drink and I still be going to a distillery. And we gotta work tonight. But we're gonna make the best of it. It's gonna be a fun time though, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna give y'all some looks of what it still really looks like. It's gonna be a good ass time, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Uh,